Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to do something very, very important for your Fortnite account. There has recently been a huge kind of thing that went on with the Fortnite website, which was allowing people to actually sign in to other people's accounts randomly and access their personal information and change their passwords, the details, and even sign into their Fortnite game and purchase V-Bucks with their own credit card. It's absolutely insane so please guys make sure that you stay tuned throughout this whole video as it is very important about actually securing your game and your account and your family's or your personal details uh, before we actually get into the video guys please do not forget to leave a like if this did help you out and you find it enjoyable and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos like this i am constantly on the ball with fortnite content all you have to do is go and check out my channel it takes a couple of minutes then you can actually decide whether you want to subscribe or not but please make sure to turn on notifications that so that you never miss any glitches guides videos anything like that uh, so yeah with this new actual uh, I guess it was a link that it was going around where you could actually go and sign up for Fortnite Mobile. This link was absolutely fine, there was nothing wrong with it, but what happened is that a couple of people actually found out that when they were clicking on that link, when they looked in the top right hand corner of their actual Epic Games account, they were signed in to a completely different account, like it was just random, like they didn't try and do it or anything, it just randomly signed you in. And this happened to at least around about 50 people. I know one of my friends it happened to, and just as a test, he actually tried to change the email to one of the accounts, and he actually did it. He basically could have taken that dude's account, but he never. And I just kind of wanted to tell you guys that you need to enable two-factor authorization on your accounts and today I'm going to be showing you how to do that I'm going to keep your account safe so I do hope that this helps you out if it did comment down below just a quick thank you or you know something to say that your actual account is now safe please let me know in the comment section below uh, but anyway as we can see right now I'm actually on the Epic Games website and um, if you guys go into the description the link to the actual website will be there and it should look something like it does right now on the website it says Fortnite free to play now and uh, you can see like all of these games that epic games have made at the top uh, what we're actually going to do is in the top right hand corner right here as you can see i'm already signed in and um it says here let's see it says start alert youtube and yeah like i said i'm basically already signed in if you do not see your username here make sure that you click sign in somewhere by this little person right here and uh, once we're signed in what we're going to do is go over to our account we're then going to go over to our personal personal details. We're going to go over to our personal details and we're going to make sure that our uh, email address is actually in. We're going to make sure that our email address is put in in this optional area right here. Make sure that you have that. And also a really good thing about two-factor authorization is that you can actually put your mobile number into the website and sometimes depending on if Epic Games allow it, they can actually text you if somebody's accessed your account and for you to verify whether it's you or not. So if you want to put in your mobile number, feel free to do that right now as it does help out. I'm not going to put mine in because I can't be bothered blurring it out on the editing process. I want to get this video out as quick as possible to help as many people as I can. Uh, but once we've actually done that and put an email address right here, what we're going to do is go over to password and security. We're then going to go all the way down and you should see that it says account security, two-factor sign-in can be used to help protect your account from unauthorized access by requesting you to enter an additional code when you sign in. Two-factor sign-in, your account is protected with two-factor sign-in. Um, if it doesn't already say like, so, okay, so for example, let me just disable this for a second. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to have a big blue kind of little box right here saying enable. Basically, just click it. That is all you have to do and make sure that it says up here two-factor sign-in enabled and what you want to do is just kind of exit off this page. Do not exit off like completely, just kind of click there or something like on personal info again and then you've actually done this. You've actually authorized your account to only allow you to access it and basically what's going to happen now is this email address that you guys put in, uh, so for example my test one here was benwillowatlive.com Whenever someone or myself signs in to my Epic Games account, I will get an email to my phone, to my PC, to wherever I'm logged in on that email address, on this email address, and it'll basically come up like, somebody has tried to access your Epic Games account. Is this you? If not, ignore this email. If it is you, 
um, copy and paste this code into the website or something like that. It'll say something along the lines. And unless that person has access to this email right here, they will not be able to log into your account. And it's really scary actually how many people have been hacked in the last couple of months on Fortnite itself. Kotaku, I don't know if you guys know them, they're a really big brand on the internet. They do a lot of gaming, funny videos, news videos. They actually just published an article where they basically told us how many people have been hacked in the last couple of months and that the fact that Epic already know that this is happening and bear in mind that Epic are doing all they can to try and stop hackers, to try and stop people accessing your account, just like this two-factor authorization. Once they found out people were getting hacked, they threw it on as soon as they could. So, you know, big applaud to Epic Games and the Fortnite team. You guys are doing amazing to keep us safe. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, people don't know how to uh, actually like activate those two-factor authorizations. This is the whole point of this video. So if you do feel like any of your friends actually need this information, guys, please feel free to share it. Um, but not only that, you know, just do not give out your email address or your password to anybody, please. Do not do any of that. There's been a load of free V-Book scams going about lately, and many of the people who are saying that they're gonna be giving this out for free, they ask for your personal details. Nobody should ever need your personal details. Like personally for me, I've got a V-Bucks giveaway coming up sometime within the next week or two, whenever that new character comes out. And I'm not going to be asking for stuff like that. What I'm going to be doing is asking, do they have PayPal? Do they have Xbox Live? Do they have PSN? So that I can buy them a PSN code, so that I can buy them an Xbox Live code, so that I can actually transfer the money into their PayPal account, so that they can log onto their PC and then buy the V-Bucks themselves. If anybody ever asks you to reveal your personal information, guys, no matter how good it sounds, please do not do it. It may be a scam and you may have just put your security details at risk. You know, if you've got your like family um, kind of email address linked up or something, if you've got your parents' payment linked up to your account, it's very scary stuff. So please make sure to feel, like kind of go away from that. Do not trust anybody who does that. And uh, yeah, just pr please stay safe on the internet, okay? Please make sure to just kind of learn from this process, I guess. I mean... It's, it's phenomenal how many people have actually like been hacked on Fortnite already and I just kind of wanted to minimize that by making this guide. Um, but anyway guys, that has pretty much been it for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I have got a load of Fortnite mobile and normal gameplay coming up on the website very soon or on my YouTube very soon, I guess. Um, I've also got a couple of guides coming up such as mobile tips and tricks, how to actually win games on mobile, how to actually adjust your settings on mobile so that you can play better. Um, I've just got a load of videos coming up that I know for a fact that you guys will definitely, definitely enjoy. So please do make sure to check out the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Click on subscribe, you know, you'll only be missing out on good content. And uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day. Enjoy Fortnite. Please stay safe. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.